Hey everybody, it's Gamer Gramps here. Today we're gonna be playing a Civilization VI domination game with the Aztecs, and we're gonna be over explaining everything. Now, keep in mind it's been a minute since I've played this game, but don't worry, I still know a thing or two about it, and we're definitely gonna be able to help some new players out, and that's the goal of this game. With that being said, we're playing on DID difficulty on a Highlands map, standard map size, and standard speed. We're using the game mode Secret Societies because we're gonna be trying to go for vampires basically and then also barbarians clans mode because i just think that's fun to be completely honest all right so so this is for newer players we're going to be talking a lot and over explaining things but that's going to start right away because we're going to go into the details about the aztecs so for anybody who doesn't care about learning about the different abilities here and features and units that they have i put timestamps in the video so you can always skip through to whatever parts you're actually interested in so you don't have to listen to me ramble as much definitely taking advantage of that if it's something you want to do. All right, so for the newer players, I am going to take a quick second here to kind of explain the Aztecs and, and the strengths that we're going to be focusing on to try and get a quick domination win. So Montezuma, oh, and the other thing too, if you're not familiar, I can't pronounce a fucking thing. So sorry in advance, you just have to deal with it if you're going to watch. But anywho, Montezuma, gifts for the tat, oh, fuck, here we go. Tlatawani, Tlatawani, Tlatawani. I should have practiced this beforehand. Oh well, Tlatawani. <laughs> Good enough, that's what we're calling it, Tlatawani. All right, luxury resources in this territory provide an amenity to two extra cities. Military units receive plus one combat strength when attacking for each different luxury resource improved in Aztec plan. That is fucking huge. Like, try to understand how huge this is. First part, luxury resources provide amenities to two extra cities is huge. Your citizens being happy allow you to go to war for longer. Not only that, your citizens being happy and excited, or not excited, but ecstatic, allows you to produce things faster, which lets you kill things faster. So it just, it all works, right? The second part of it, military units receive plus one combat strength when attacking for each different luxury resource improved in the Aztec's land. That's big too. You got to think about all the different luxury resources that are in a map. So wherever you start, you're going to be on a continent. If you're really lucky, you'll be in a continent split where you can build a city or two on one continent and then another one on the other and get possibly up to eight different luxuries. But either way, you'll have at least four to start with on your continent. If you can get those up and running, you're going to have automatic plus four combat strength for every one of your units, not just your melee units, but every one one of the combat units. Go into the next one, Legend of the Five Sons. So spend builder charges to complete 20% of the original district cost. That again is freaking huge, especially when you can take into consideration the Eagle Warriors, but we'll deal with those after. But even if the Eagle Warrior wasn't a thing, if it was just this ability itself, I would happily build a builder to get 60% discount on my encampment. Just think about it this way. You can plan for it ahead of time. You can build your builder before you even unlock bronze working and have them ready so that on turn sorry i guess it would be three turns after because you can only sacrifice one charge per turn right but anyway so three turns after you unlock bronze working you have more than 60 percent of your encampment done and just think about how much quicker you can get your great generals going then you got the eagle warriors which are basically pimped out warriors they have i think it's 28 combat strength i'm pretty sure off the top of my head and then whenever you kill an enemy civilization's military unit you have a chance to turn them into builders like free builders you can then use those builders to like get luxuries up to, to boost your combat strength even more or better yet to chop out more of an army for you just that much quicker so playing the aztecs it's generally speaking real easy to start just snowballing pretty hard and it, it should be a fairly easy to, to, to i can't even talk right now domination victory and god willing like knock on wood we have one today anyway the last little bit here they're they're building oh god here we go again uh tlactly tlactly tlact Lee. I don't know. Fuck it. Close enough. Anywho, I was really excited about this when I first found out about it because uh, when I look at that image, to me anyway, it kind of looks like it replaces the watermill. Well, let me disappoint you right now. It doesn't. Uh, I actually had to go and search for this building because I was honestly dumbfounded like why I hadn't built this before and then I found out why. 
it's because it replaces the arena and i'm sorry unless i happen to conquer somebody who has an entertainment complex or whatever they're called i'm not going to be building them in my game so i maybe that's a mistake in my play i don't know but either way we're not going to be focusing on it today let's just get into this fucking game all right here we go now, I have to be honest, I've played on this map a little bit. I've played the ancient era on it because yesterday was not my fucking day. Let me tell you, it started off with me knocking a full cup of coffee over right onto my gaming keyboard and I fucking toasted it. Surprisingly, I will give MSI credit. It didn't just like up and die. However, the keys just became horribly stuck and I couldn't use them later in the when I tried it, it was just like impossible. They, they kept sticking every time I touched them. And that was just how the day started. Then I was all excited about this like chat GPT playing the game thing. And so started it and it worked. It was cool. It was going good. Well, after three hours and 45 minutes, I'm like, all right, cool. Let's, that's enough of that. Let's try th try this. So I moved on to starting this game and played through till the ancient era had a good time, went to upload it only to find out for some fucking reason, my microphone didn't work. So I had wasted my entire time. And then I felt like really crying when I went back and looked and all of that footage, the three hours and 45 minutes is complete dog shit too. So that's how my day went yesterday. So here we are. I know a little bit about this map. Sure, I could start on a new one, but honestly, this map is so fucking cool that I just want to play on it. Like the way it worked out with the city states that are around us and just everything. It, it seems like it's going to be a fun playthrough. So I wanted to keep going with it. And I don't really know that much. I only played the Ancient there. So it's not like I was balls deep in the game or something. Anyway, I did some very very specific tests that are very scientific fuck this stupid piece of fucking garbage to make sure that it is recording properly now so we're good to go let's get to this all right so for newer players like i said we're gonna be over explaining everything as we go here because for one i just ramble like a motherfucker to begin with but two we want you to be able to follow along with what we're doing but also why we're doing it so starting off we're gonna switch it to strategy mode by pressing equal on your keyboard unfortunately for me i'm not doing it on my gaming keyboard i'm doing it on a prehistoric dell one you get the fucking point. You press equal on your keyboard, opens up this menu. It's a lot easier to, to see what you're doing and kind of plan where you're going to build your city. So for those of you who don't know, on Plains Hills, if you build your city on them, you start off with a two food and two production base, which is the best you can start off with unless you're settling on like a god tier tile, which is a story for another day. But if you're just starting with regular stuff, Plains Hills are the best way to go because you can start off with the two two base inside of your city. And then ideally like this, you can work another two two to, to get going on a decent start. So we're going to settle right in place here. We have some nice tiles around us that we can work towards and kind of go from there. All right, so normally I suggest going kind of scout heavy for the most part, but considering we have such a cool, unique unit, the Aztec Warrior, where we get to make enemies into builders, I'm just going to go straight into Eagle Warriors. Like, it takes twice as long to build a scout, so technically I could get two scouts for the price of one warrior, but... I think it's worth it. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, you know what? I'm going to build one scout first, and then an eagle warrior. We'll queue up a warrior next. And then after that, we'll go into a settler, but we can't start that yet because we're only at two population. All right, tech-wise, I highly suggest that you go into animal husbandry first because it unlocks horses on the map. And even if you're not planning on doing like a horseman rush or anything like that, they make for great cities. Like you get great yields when you build a pasture on them, right? So it's like basically another way of creating yourself a good tile or giving yourself a chance anyway of having more good tiles to pick from, which makes it easier for you to find better cities to settle. So I like to open up with animal husbandry and like I said, even if you're not planning to actually use the horses, you can sell them for money to the AI if you're not going to be killing that specific AI, right? Um, anyway, we're going to be exploring with our first warrior here over this way. We got Barb Scout, so it looks like we have some to play with down here some, somewhere. Um, like I said, I do have a little bit of an advantage of this map. Like I know uh, we have enemies to our east. There's a world wonder to the southwest, or sorry, to the southeast, but I, like I'm not gonna just go beeline and find it. I'm gonna play the game how I would normally be playing it and kind of gonna, for the most part, how I did play it yesterday. All right, so we're gonna be definitely going after this barb camp. We're trying to become vampires in this playthrough. So in order to even help that out a little bit, we're going to try to use our scout to go down and give us an extra hand there because there is a city state that's right around here somewhere. And so I don't want them sniping this camp on us. Otherwise, you're going to hear a grown man cry. 
I would smash my keyboard, but it's already fucking toast. All right, so far so good. Nobody's shown up, so let's go ahead and heal up for a turn there where our scout, while our scout gets a little bit closer. Okay, we got animal husbandry, and spoiler alert, we got boned. We don't have any horses. I don't even have to look. But, I mean, I'm, I'm already bitter about it ahead of time so it, it's just it is what it i guess i should, should say i'm not as bitter about it because i've had a day to calm down and just deal with it right uh, anyway we're gonna go into mining next so we'll go ahead and click that on now here we'll go ahead and smash him again with our eagle warrior the next turn we'll hit him with a scout first and should be able to finish him off here fingers crossed all right nice of course they spawned a warrior you know just of course but that's not the end of the world. Fingers crossed we get the barbarian, or the barbarian, the vampire. <laughs> Learn how to fucking speak, Tyler. Anyway, nice. We, we scored it. That's good. Because in my first playthrough, we didn't. Like, I went I went the whole ancient era and never got an invite. And I killed, like, three camps, I think. But anyway, uh, that's taken care of. We did get the invite this time, which makes for actual better, better video, right? So let's go ahead and grab our vampire right away. It's really good to get those going as quickly as you can because you want to stack up the combat strength, right? For every unit that you kill with the vampire, it gets added combat strength. So it's a good way of doing things if you get started faster, it's going to get stronger faster, obviously, right? Now, don't get me wrong, there are definitely, and there's our first victim. Look at her introducing herself, looking so high and mighty, but not for long. Now, before I click this, I'm going to explain things a little bit here. I would normally suggest you not do this. Like, don't invite them to come visit your hospitality right away, because by doing this, it lets them know immediately where you are. Like, in this case, she already found us. Spoiler alert, right? So it doesn't matter. But I'm saying, like, if, if I would have if I would have bumped into her out exploring and she didn't actually know where our city was, I still wouldn't invite her normally. But because we're playing the Aztecs and I want early war, like, the sooner she comes to fight us, the better as far as I'm concerned. So I, I would invite her over, even if she didn't already know where we were. All right, so our Eagle Warrior got the promotion. We're going to go with the Battle Cry promotion. The reason being is it's just hands down better than Tortoise. And the logic behind that being Tortoise gives you plus 10 combat strength when defending against ranged attacks, but it's only against ranged attacks, whereas Battle Cry gives you plus 7. It's against melee and ranged. But on top of that, it's whether you attack or defend. So Tortoise only has plus three extra combat strength, and it's only when you're defending and only against ranged things. So I just hands down Battlecry is better. And I'd only suggest picking Tortoise if you go Battlecry first and want to kind of go with both of them. But uh, that's not what we're doing today. We're going Battlecry only and moving on with our lives. Okay, so we got our Eagle Warrior there. We're going to move on to the Settler now that we actually can start it. And... There's our first victim. I mean, their warrior. We got Code of Laws. Let's go ahead and throw in, I guess, Survey. Yeah, let's let's throw in Survey since we're not fighting very many barbarians. We already kill, killed the camp there. So hopefully the Survey will allow our scout to get some experience and get a promotion quickly so we can give them the Alpine promotion and let them run, run over the hills a little bit faster. Meanwhile, for the economic slot, we're going with God King. We want the Faith to help us get a Pantheon as quick as we can jump across the river there uh, meanwhile here let's actually go ahead and kill them with a scout so we get the experience we got eight experience there and then we'll heal up one more turn with the eagle warrior this scout's probably going to come try and suicide on us so we should be able to take out that scout as well uh, meanwhile we're going to go for craftsmanship first because we want to get the agoge yes i do learn when you tell me things agoge policy card so we'll slot that in there and continue on now here on this side we're across the river with both units so i'm just gonna say fuck it and we're gonna start a war yeah 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 the reason being i want to get this warrior going as soon as or this warrior this war going as soon as possible because they're gonna outpace us so quickly with technology that 
I want to strike while the iron is hot, basically. I, I don't want them having swordsmen and horsemen and just whooping our ass. So the sooner we can get rolling on them, the better. Like, we'll, we'll pillage their Zaywan districts to get science for us to, to help us boost. It'll just ultimately work out better in, in every every possible way, essentially. Alright, so we discovered that city state up there. Owls of Minerva discovered, yada yada. Now, I am a lot less excited about this this time around because I've always already discovered it, so it's kind of not in the moment. But I honestly didn't know what Wolin was because I, I haven't played this game in like three years, basically, right? So I had to check it out. So for those of you who don't know, it's a really good military city state for domination games where you earn great general points or great admiral points for killing other units, essentially. So it's a great little find there. Let's take a look and see what their uh, objective for us is and trigger Eureka for bronze, which is perfect because that's about to happen right here as soon as we kill this scout. There that is. Couldn't have timed that out better <laughs> if I planned it myself. In the meantime here, now, oh, I'm torn. I'm honestly fucking torn. I don't know right now what I want to do. Who do I kill it with? Do I kill it with the vampire? So I increase his combat strength. Or do I kill it with the warrior hoping to get a builder? I think it's kill it with the warrior hoping to get the builder. Because then we can improve three slots to get craftsmanship quicker. But then again, yeah, I guess we could just buy these tiles and make mines to get the three tiles. Yeah, that's the better option, I think. And again, if you disagree with me, feel free to talk about it down in the comment sections. I don't think I'm like the godliest player, especially after fucking three years sitting on the bench, basically. So uh, feel free to leave suggestions and tell me how much of a dumbass ass I am. Uh, don't worry, I, I got it thick skin and I can handle it. All right, we got Builder. So... With our scout here, we're gonna head toward Korea with it because we might even be able to like jump into their territory and, and pillage with the scout a bit. That would kind of work out great if it happened. So we'll try and try and do that and see how it goes. Uh, all right, I think I'll try to heal the vampire up for a turn in the city because I'm assuming they're gonna be sending more more units our way, which we'd like them to come to us a little bit so we can kind of ambush them um, but we're not going to spend all the time waiting either we'll, we'll just take a turn or two to heal up a little bit plus give the, our other warrior here a chance to kind of join the group and go from there all right we got mining taken care of so we're going to head into bronze working next so we can get our encampment up a little bit quicker in a perfect world five turns left on that settler so that's not too too bad All right, let's get our first tile improved. And actually, since we have such nice production tiles here, I think I'm actually gonna buy this tile so that we can build it and get our population up quicker so that we can work the nice production tiles that we have that much quicker. All right, let's get that farm going. Also boost irrigation for us, which is a nice plus. And let's check the tiles are working. And I think for right now, actually, I don't really give a shit about the gold. I'd rather have the extra point of production. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to we're going to lock our our citizens here and there. Just I want to get my stuff out that much quicker. And for me right now, our Eagle Warriors cost like two hundred and sixty dollars. So we're a long ways away from that. I mean, technically, I guess we can get this truffles on and sell it. So that's what we'll do with our last builder charge. We'll get them to go over there. But other than that, we don't really have a way of getting to 260 gold very quickly. So I think we're better off just getting more, getting the settler out that much quicker a little bit and then getting more troops on the field. Especially considering our troops build builders for us, essentially. All right, here comes another victim. We're gonna let our scout heal up there too. Uh, meanwhile, I think what we'll do 
is I'm such a thoughtful, caring, and considerate person that we're going to sacrifice our build. We're going to lure them in with our builder and use it literally to lure them in to attack it, and then we'll attack them. So we'll put the builder out there and move our eagle warrior across the river. And I don't think they're going to be able to help themselves. So I'm pretty sure they're going to uh, take a stab at it. And there it is, which is just what we wanted. So we killed their slinger and we got it. And because we killed it with a vampire, we got the increase in our combat strength. Jesus, that thing for a second there. All right, so we finished our settler in the location here, which is a good thing. I'm just debating, honestly, whether whether to grab a monument quickly to help us get down our culture that much quicker. I think I'll get an Eagle Warrior first. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to be settling right here on this Plains Hill. And my reasoning behind that is basically all these pastures here, we're going to hopefully end up getting the Pantheon that gives you plus one culture for every pasture you have. And there's like four pastures right here. So it it's going to start off, it's on fresh water to start with, which is a good thing, obviously. And it's a Plains Hill, so that's a 2-2 two, two start for our city, like we talked about at the beginning of the video. And we got four tiles here that are going to give us like four culture real quick as soon as we get them upgraded, which is pretty easy for us to do because we're going to have all these extra builders once we kill their warriors, right? All right, well, since it worked once, we're going to try and do it again here. And we're going to send our builder out to play with them. And we'll jump across the river here with the... Uh, whatchamacallit? <laughs> with the Eagle Warrior. There we go. Uh, and they're probably going to jump and take our Builder. And we'll go ahead and double team them again. But in a way that we're going to enjoy. So I think I'll start the attack off with the Eagle Warrior since we're on this side of the river with them. Here, we're going to let them attack us. Also, our warriors down here are healed up, and our, our scout basically is. So we're going to come in and come around the far far edge and kind of flank them a little bit if we can. So I'm going to swap these units so our Eagle Warrior is in front, and that'll give us a chance to heal the scout up there. Actually, you know what? Yeah, never mind. Because I, I can't go over the terrain right now anyway. Uh, in the meantime here, again, we're just going to stay fortified until healed. Hold on, how do you heal vampires again? It's been so long since I played, I don't remember. I need to think. Uh, let's take a look together, shall we? A unique has base common strength equal to the strongest unit things produced gains permanent comment strength when units die in adjacent tiles oh so it doesn't even have to kill them that's a good thing to remember tyler all right uh strength from barbarian deaths is capped at plus 10 when killed retreats with one hp to the capital or nearest vampire heals an additional 50 health points from pillaging enemy tiles ah there we go so we gotta get to war baby all right makes sense okay so Let's get moving forward. We can settle our next city here. And I think we just straight up go for a monument right away in this one. Or actually, we'll get a build it first. I'm just taking a minute to think here what I think the best way to approach this is. All 
right, I think we do this. I think we take our Ego Warrior, come here, and we should be able to kill this unit in one hit, I believe. Which gave us a Builder, plus on top of the Builder, it gave our Vampire Combat Strength. Now, unfortunately, the Builder has no moves, which kind of hurts a little bit, but that is what it is. Meanwhile, we're in a forest. This warrior down here can't come attack us, like, it, because we're in the forest, the movement terrain, it can't get us. So we're just going to fortify to heal there, and we might die to this warrior, but I don't think so, because it's attacking across the river, and we are in the forest, which has the combat boost. Uh, and then with this eagle warrior down here, we're just going to... I wouldn't say retreat. I would go with like tactically withdraw or like tactically reposition. There you go. I like that one. We're going to tactically reposition our Eagle Warrior around this way. That's my story and I'm sticking with it. Okay. So in the meantime, now we are going to do it this way. We're going to follow this guy here across the river. We're on a hill in a jungle there, so it's a good defensive position. And we're gonna move out with our Eagle Warrior and hopefully between the two of them, we can kill it there. In the meantime, we're gonna use our builder as a bait there again, take our promotion there. Here, we're just gonna fortify. We have a nice defensive position there. And the same thing here, even our scout can actually like tank a couple of hits there or should be able to anyway. Uh, meanwhile, we are gonna switch out to craftsmanship before I forget because we will improve the tile. So we'll jump over to foreign trade and we're actually gonna start a builder. Even though we have those builders, they're way over there and I'd rather use them for combat right now. Like we're, we're gonna basically save them for chopping out units once we either unlock horsemen or uh, horsemen or, or swordsmen or we want to get these pastures up online which we'll probably do pretty quickly here in the meantime but most likely we'll end up getting at least another builder or two pretty quickly here so we're just going to kind of do it that way because we're going to be using this builder that we're making we're going to fix the truffles so we can sell them once we meet somebody speaking of which after this guy hits our scout another time or two, we're gonna go start exploring more with the scout and just focus on our warriors over here. Uh, meantime, we'll sort of do a trifecta move here, like get this guy in between us and the vampire can just stay there and heal for now. This guy's weak enough. I'm pretty sure we can kill him with the attack another builder for us and our scout got a promotion because remember we have uh, the policy card in I can't think of the name of it but the one that's giving us extra experience for our scouts so we'll go ahead and take the Alpine promotion and I think we just leave our builders where they are for now so they can kind of give us a slight advantage Meanwhile, our money is actually building up to oops, hit next turn. Our money is actually building up to where we're getting closer to 260. So we're not that far away from being able to buy another Eat Warrior 2, which will be nice. Uh, in the meantime, what does Kabul want us to do? Send a trade move. Definitely dump something we can think about. All right, so. The warrior disengaged with the scout, so we're actually gonna use the scout for what it's intended for. So let's head over to the west with them. And in the meantime, let's try and get a kill here. So we're gonna hit them with our eagle warrior first. It has to go across the river, but that means this one here won't, and it's got the promotion, so it's a stronger one. So hopefully they'll be able to get the decisive kill here. Fingers crossed. Wham, bam, there we go. Again, I'll just put this fucker to sleep so I don't have to keep hitting skip turn on him. Same thing over there. And we'll let our Eagle Warrior here heal up for a minute. Okay, so we finished bronze working. Actually, that's what we'll do. We need to buy a tile for our encampment. So we'll go ahead, do that now. We're gonna lock in the price. In case you don't know, uh, when 
you put down a district, whatever district it happens to be, you lock it in at that price because the more civics and the more technologies you get as you go through the game, as well as the more districts too in, in most cases. But anyway, just keep things simple for beginner players right now. Just the most, well, the more techs and the more civics you get, the more expensive your districts become. So if you place them down on the ground right away, they don't get more expensive. They're locked in. So we don't have to build this right away. We can go back to our builder and that's what we're going to do. But that way, you don't end up wasting production, essentially. Okay, so we are going to pop our vampire over here. So he's next to the warrior, and we're going to hopefully kill him here. And we didn't, so we'll just say... Oh, I guess we can't. I was going to say we just say fuck it and kill him with the vampire, but that's fine. Uh, in the meantime, we'll heal up there. And we're going to send this builder down to start getting some pastures online for for the city, which makes me change my mind. And we're going to go start the monument down there. It's, it's really important to get culture going, especially like our culture is dragging ass right now pretty hard. All right. So we got bronze working, which, by the way, again, spoiler alert, I know the answer without looking. We got fucked. So uh, we don't have any iron to use right now to get swordsmen, so we're definitely not worried about going that way. Uh, but we will go towards archery. Unfortunately, it looks like they got a promotion here, which is what it is. That's fine. We're going to stay healing, and next turn, we'll hit them with all three units and be able to take it out, most likely. And of course, I jinxed myself. All right, we're 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 going to lure them back in. I don't think it'll be able to resist, so we'll just heal up for one more turn. Go that way. We're going to come over here and try and get our builder back. We finished the builder there. I think... We're going to start another Eagle Warrior. And after that, we'll finish the encampment. Uh, keep in mind, we are going to use two of these builders' chargers to speed that up too, so it, it won't take as long as you might think. All right, nice. They fell for our little little trick here, so we're going to gangbang them. This time around, I'm actually going to start with the unit that has the most health because we're all on the same side of the river. So I want to do the most damage to it first before attacking with the others. And also, I'm not even going to attack with the Vampire because our units heal fast, right? Whereas this fucker doesn't and has to pillage. So he'll get combat strength and get to continue healing up so that he's ultimately that much more powerful for us. They have Iron Bastards. Okay, actually, I misspoke. I forgot that we can eventually get Iron with this. So, you know what? We don't really need to buy that unit. It would be nice to have iron, so I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to buy our way to the iron over there, and the user can actually go here, and we'll go get that online right away. All right, so he's headed over there to improve the iron, which will be our third tile improvement anyway, which is going to boost craftsmanship for us. I'm going to say fuck it anyway. We're going to use this builder to move here and build us a mine next turn. And of course, of course, of course, right? <laughs> Jesus, fuck. Well, we were going to build a mine there. Bastards. Okay, well, scratch that. We'll, we'll just we'll head over and improve the truffles. I was going to say that I wanted to improve that mine that much faster so we could get the policy card slotted in that much faster because we'd be making this eagle warrior 50% fucking faster, right? Uh, but whatever. It is what it is. Can't complain too much, right? Unless he blocks me again. Like, if he moves there, I'm just gonna fucking break something. We'll heal up quickly for one more turn over there. Here, in the meantime, we're gonna hop on to their Seiwan. And we will definitely be pillaging that next turn. And thank you for the 31 science. Now, meantime, 
you're headed toward horseback riding. Next, we'll be getting the Eureka for it pretty quickly too. All right, so we're two era score away here from getting a standard era, which we definitely want to get for sure. So that's something to keep in mind. I don't think it's going to be too hard for us to get two air score in 10 turns, but I mean, famous fucking last words, right? In the meantime, our vampires healed up really good here. So we're going to start heading over. We'll let that eagle warrior there heal up from our turn. This gives us craftsmanship. So we're going to put in a goge and we still haven't gotten our pantheon yet. So we're leaving God King where it is. All right. In the meantime, we're going to pop across the hill with our eagle warrior over here. It looks like they're having some problems with barbarians. <laughs> but anyway, with our Eagle Warrior, our plan is to go pillage this mine here. I think we get cash for mines, if I remember. It's, it's been a while. Uh, but nice, we got our Pantheon here too. And next turn, we'll be able to switch out of God King. So that works out really well, the timing of it. Fingers crossed. And nice, it is still there, the God of the Open Sky. That's probably what we're going with. But let's take a quick look through the rest of the crap and see if there's anything open because like i said when i picked that last time like yesterday i was on turn fucking 40. oh my god it's turn 41. oh my god okay is this just somebody tell me it did not used to be this way like no way in fucking hell it, no it's not it's just me i'm not no i i can't i can't be just imagining that but yeah we're, anyway we're definitely taking god of the open sky it's there for us we got it It'll give us a nice little boost to our culture once we get a couple of the pastures up and running. I'm trying to think what we're going to do. All right, we got that online, but we don't have anybody to sell it to. Um, there's a barbarian scout there, which is not good news for us. Run, buddy, run. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put urban planning in for the plus two production in our cities there. We did end up meeting another city state. This is the one I was, other one I was talking about, where we have three really good military city states close by. And this one here, oops, land combat units and support units are 20% cheaper to purchase with gold for each encampment district building in that city. So it ends up being pretty good the further you get along in your domination victory. Okay, so in the meantime here, we're gonna take this builder and head over to our, our encampment to start sacrificing charges. And speaking of that encampment, we'll start actually working on it there too. Okay, we finished foreign trade. Let's go ahead and jump straight towards early empire because I would like to get two more cities out quickly. Um, at least one, one for sure, but probably two because I, the way I personally like to play domination games anyways, is I like to chop out two armies. So I have one, the first army that kind of goes east or west or north or whatever the fuck that it happens to be in that game. But then I chop out a second army and that army goes in the opposite direction, in the opposite direction. And then they sort of just fucking like it's a race to meet in the middle. You know what I mean? But anyway, all righty then. So we are going to go ahead and pillage. And yeah, it, it is cash that you get. So that's perfect. We'll grab some free money from them. I'm really hoping we don't get a dark age. I need to start thinking about this. Uh, what could I do? Oh, I know. Build a trader. One of them wanted a trader, right? Yeah, but of course it's the one. <laughs> oh, uh oh. You know what? I'm going to build the trader anyway because it'll be an extra envoy, but that's not going to help our situation at all. Yeah, we're going to keep running with that builder. I'm going to keep thinking about what I can do here. See, this is the pro this is what I mean. I, I'm so fucking rusty that like I used to be able to just like snap my fingers and come up with shit. No problem instantly. Like, oh, we could do this. We could do that to like, I remember enough about the game to know that, oh, fuck, I should be trying to do this and that to it's important to get a golden age if you can. So you can get a monumentality golden age in the classical era. And you know what I mean? And, like you just snowball, right? But I just off the top of my head, I can't think of good ideas to quickly give me that. You know what? I guess I do kind of have an idea. We're going to use our builders and we're going to go. There's another civilization over to the east here. Persia's just a little bit further. So we're going to try and discover Persia. And our scout here is already headed over this way. And Germany's somewhere over here. 
I really should have just played this and gone and, and got the natural wonder that's here too. <laughs> Hindsight's 2020, I guess, right? All right, we're gonna use this builder and explorer too. We're pulling out all the stops. I don't want a dark age, like, because then we're gonna have so much trouble conquering them and holding on to their cities if we're having all those loyalty issues. Nice, there's Persia, speak of the devil. There he is, and he's actually gonna like us. Sure, let's exchange information. He's gonna like us because we declared a surprise war on Korea. I definitely have to change my fucking Microsoft's speak English, Tyler. I definitely have to change my microphone settings because it's clipping in and clipping out too much. And I don't know if you can hear it watching the video, but I sure can. And it's fucking driving me nuts because that's by the way, that was a magical fix. Like I tried everything I could think of. I watched YouTube videos to try and figure out why the fuck the microphone just stopped working and didn't help anything. And the only thing I could kind of like the only workaround that I found that worked was I have to hear myself talk in my ears. Like I have to had to change it to like monitor mode or something like that. I forget the, the exact name, but anyway, now I'm hearing myself talk in my headphones and maybe that's how I'm supposed to do it. If professionals do it, I don't know, but that's not how I used to do it. And it's taken a lot for me to get used to because it's fucking distracting to hear myself full, like full volume in my own ears. I don't know. It, whatever. It is what it is. Right now. Ooh, let's get this guy back in the city. So we got another barbarian scout there. All right. So we're continuing on here. I think we're set up fairly well for the most part. Um, we're going to keep running here, but the scout's going to catch up with us. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I'm going for that settler. I just, I was about to fortify him place and I just saw the settler there. Ooh, baby, that would be fucking nice. In the meantime, like I said, we're going to try and head down this way with our builder a little bit because I think that, uh, that world wonders like right there, right? Because we're still, yeah, we're still one air score away. Ooh, there's a barb camp. That would be air score, but we're not, we're not going to get there fast enough. So I shouldn't even get excited about it. It's just going to be a letdown. I guess it doesn't hurt to try it, right? I'll move the one unit up there. We'll move the builder back because they can use their scout to conquer it too. And I'm pretty sure they will, so we'll be able to attack their scout. Uh, yeah, they did, perfect. But either way, five turns. Okay, here we go, we got it, right? Oh, it's an encampment, but they don't have walls, right? So I can just walk on it, I think. Fingers crossed. Come on, baby. Fuck, yeah. Oh, wow, we got excited. All right, anyways, let's go ahead and attack this scout there and hide our... Actually, you know what? Fuck it. We'll put the builder there. You know what? No, we won't. We're like, well, obviously, we can't unput him there, but we're going to go back into the city and we're going to wait. It's only the four turns or whatever it is. And building the pasture speeds up corpse back riding. It's a Eureka for it. And... We're going to be picking the, the dedication as like as long as we don't get a dark age, we're picking a dedication where we're going to get an era score for every year Eureka we come up with. So might as well just wait for four more turns. Like we're only missing out theoretically on four horses, or I mean eight horses, right? Yeah, see, I, I shouldn't have even wasted my time walking up there, to be honest. I'd like to get a couple archers out too, so we're gonna get one going in there now that they built their monument. Did we not uncover the fog? I guess it's a little bit too far, so let's transfer and see if we can make it from there. Uh, meanwhile, here we're gonna go switch production onto encampment and then sacrifice the builder charge here. Come on, buddy. I know Germany's somewhere there. Like, we're fucking close, but I don't think we're going to be close enough. Uh, meanwhile, let's head over this way so we can try and grab that builder maybe, but ideally use the farm to pillage and heal. Three turns. The scout is all I care about. 
Come on, buddy. There it is. We got it. Now that's some streamer luck, baby. Fuck yeah. All right. Yes, yes. Sure, sure. Cool. And this worked out for us too. We're two, we're, we're two for two. We're batting a thousand, baby. Yeah. Uh, so we'll get the extra envoy with them right before the era ends. So we'll have a new mission that we can go get as soon as the next age starts, which will be good for us because then we're, we're sitting at two. If we can knock another objective off real quick, we'll be their suzerain without even having to use a governor like Amani or something. All right. Meanwhile, their settler actually came out to play. So that's like mission number one is settler stealing time. We're going to chase it. It can't get back to the encampment anymore. And between our vampire and these warriors, uh, it looks like we got a, ourselves a free settler. We'll put another charge in. We're going to come here too, because we can actually body block with, with the builder if we have to. Yeah, yeah. Eat my ass, Frederick. I really hope they're not at war with Persia, and I don't know that. <laughs> I'm going to laugh. If they're at war with Persia and fucking Persia gets their settler, it's not going to be so much for streamer luck, I guess, right? <laughs> if that happens. But I think we're I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put this scout on automated exploration. All my interest in it, it just evaporated the second that it got me my air score. All right. So... You there, you there, and you there. And that's our scout, or our settler. Uh, meanwhile, let's start circling in here. We won't be able to put this city under siege, which is a little bit unfortunate because it has the water access. So, and we don't have embarkment or whatever where we get our, you know what? We should probably go for freaking sailing just for that reason, like in the future at least. So we can actually put naval, or not naval, but uh, can't think of the word. Oh my god, English, Tyler. English, there you go. It was right there for me on the coast, coastal cities. There you go. Ding ding. Anyway, uh, that's gonna be something to consider, but we want to get horseback riding first, right? So that's where we're gonna focus on. Uh, meanwhile, though, our builder, I think we already have one over here that we can use to like fuck around with them and, and get them to attack it. So we're gonna move this one back because. We're going to eventually be getting Magnus and start chopping him and stuff real soon. So, actually, you know what? We'll send this guy down here. Because we still have those different passages we want to get up and running for the culture. And I think culture is more important. We're, we're a little ways away from being ready for horseback riding and chopping horses anyway. Because we want to get Magnus and we want to get Magnus to black market here. Which means we still, like, after early empire, we still got to get state workforce for a government plaza. And we got to get military tradition for maneuver. And yeah, we got our work cut, cut out for us. So I think that's definitely going to leave us enough time. We can spend some builder charges over here for the pastures. And it'll be nice too. Our arch is about to finish next turn. So we'll be able to tell that scout to fuck off. There we go. We managed. We managed it. We didn't hit the dark age. I was a little bit worried there. And actually perfect timing because we got we became a suzerain of Kabul and it's in the new age it's not in the last age so it's not like we wasted the plus two air score uh so that actually worked out really well Prince of timed out better if I uh, tried to do it myself but anyway on that note if you haven't already please leave a like on the video it really does go a long way towards helping the channel grow and a small channel like mine needs all the help I get plus I'm special right so you want to help me out and actually wait before we go I can't can't not do this right there you go. What a way to end a video. Taking a settler from your hated enemy. All right. Anyway, I'm going to shut the fuck up. I'll see you next time.